Hi, I'm John the Engineer Termel, and the silver bullet for the Occupy movement is the Argentine solution, which can fix the planet before next Christmas in fulfillment of the Mayan prophecy for the better. Dubbed the bank fighter extraordinaire, here I am being arrested at the IMF World Bank Conference in Toronto in 1982 when I was all alone. When you look around at the world, you have to admit it's pretty scary. We have a police state being set up all around us. It's as if there's a big slavery system oppressing us and there seems to be no way out. If you YouTube for Prime Minister of the Planet, I'm the only declared candidate. How dare I? Well, I was the teaching assistant of Canada's only mathematics of gambling course. In the United States, I was known as the professor at the Taj Mahal in Atlantic City. I'm the great Canadian gambler, and if there's anybody who can show you how to win, it's me. Even though I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for losing more elections than anyone else in history. So, what makes the biggest winner the biggest loser? A fixed game. I'm a protest instructor with a solution to offer as opposed to a protest obstructor who has nothing to do but tear down the fence. At the G20, cops stood out of the line to shake my hand. In 1983, I was allowed into the Queen's receiving line with a picket sign. What could have been my solution? Well, the Argentine solution, back in 2001, they were broke. By 2006, all foreign debt paid off. How'd they do that? The unions told the government, you're not going to lay us off. We'll accept small denomination provincial bonds in our pay that we can use to pay for our hydropower, taxes, medical, and licenses, HTML. All the people in the provinces took the bonds as currency. They laid nobody off, hired more people, all debt paid off in five years. We can do it too. In 1999, I traveled 11 European countries and paid for 39 nights out of 40 with an IOU for a night back in Canada, denominated in hours. You can too. In 2000, I was invited to the United Nations to do the speech on banking, where they passed the Unilets Time Bank Resolution. Someday you'll be able to pay your debts with time. So what are the chances the Occupy Movement's going to pick up the Argentine solution? Well, when it comes to fixing mammon, Jesus said they'll forever be hearing without hearing and seeing without seeing or understanding. And all we have to do is accept each other's bonds denominated in time between countries and we've created the perfect new money to save our planet. Dennis Kucinich's bill, which would have the Treasury take over the Fed and run the money system interest-free, and no one's supporting it. British bookmakers William Hill offered me a million to one odds on my bet that the Mayan prophecy would be done by next Christmas. So let's prove them wrong. So lend unto others as you would have them lend unto you, interest-free.